Hey everyone and welcome back for part 2 of my advanced minimap uh, tutorial in UE4. So in our first part we made what you see on the screen right now which is in the top left hand corner having a texture used as a minimap and having it scroll around uh, synchronised with the player's movement. So in this part what we're going to do is we're going to add a player icon to the map that will rotate and match the rotation of the player character in the world. So let me just quit out of this and I've already made the icon and uh, imported it in. I made it in Photoshop. I'm not going to go through that. You should be okay with doing that. Uh, but I made a simple icon and imported it in. So the first thing we need to do is go into our minimap widget. Because there's one thing I needed to fix uh, on this that I didn't do last time. Uh, so apologies for that. So currently in our hierarchy we just have the map on its own. We don't want that. We want an overlay first and then the map uh, we want an overlay because that's how we're going to determine what gets overlaid on top of this image so things like player icons and later on enemy icons and things like that we will we'll show these on top of the map as well so unfortunately we have to delete this map but don't fret i'll show you what you have to do so in here we'll type in overlay and drag it in Ooh. like so and then you want to drag in your image again on top of overlay and your image you'll type in uh, its name to be uh, map and make sure it is variables turned on and the image you want to set it to will be the minimap instance that we made last episode minimap instance so that it's really small we need to make it fill the entire overlay okay so it's the whole entire thing so with the map we just turn on the horizontal alignment to fill and vertical to fill as well and that's all we have to do so next thing we have, uh, next we have to do on our overlay is we need to make this a variable too and we're going to name it so we're going to name it uh, map overlay and tick is variable okay because we need to access that later on to be able to put stuff inside of this map uh, click compile and then go over to your graph so this is all we've done last time and you should see now the map and map overlay appearing in your variables one thing we need to do because we deleted the original map image we need to clear this variable and replace it with the new one and that should fix that let's just double che uh, check that make sure it still works as it was last time which it does perfect okay so adding the player icon so the way this works is you make another widget for the player icon and then when you start this widget up you add it to the construct event and it will add that widget to this minimap in the overlay and we can then make it rotate so before we do anything here we first will need to make that widget so back out of there and click on add new user interface widget blueprint and we're going to name it player icon Ooh, icon widget there we go and open it up so first things first delete the canvas panel from the hierarchy and then you want to just drag on uh, an overlay uh, just search for it here and then you want to drag on the uh, image onto the overlay so for overlay click on overlay um, not overlay sorry image and we want to change its name to player icon and we want it to horizontally center align in the vertical and the horizontal okay makes it a bit easier we will come to later so now we want to set the image to be that texture we made so here we go player icon and there it appearing and let's change its image size from 128 to 32 by 32 there we go uh, once you're done here we want to go on to the graph and in the graph double check to make sure you've got the variables for the player icon showing so what we need here is the event pre-construct so we can delete these two we don't want them at least not for now and in the event pre-construct what we want to happen is we want it to set the texture for this image it may seem redundant because we've just done it here but for us to be able to 
uh, for it to work uh, where we want it to, uh, we want it to set the texture of it uh, in the code itself. So the way you do that is if you drag off of here, can we do it from here, set brush, no, we have to just drag on player icon first then. Drag the player icon reference first, then from here go set brush. And you want this one set brush on its own. And from here we're going to in brush make slate brush. And if you expand this out, you can see I can choose its image size, margin, Im tint, and image. So choose the icon image here. Like so and click compile. And that's all we've got to do on here for now. Okay. So go back to your minimap widget. So now we've got the player icon widget, we now need to add it to this. So rather than put a load of code here, what I'm going to do is make a new function. So go to your functions in the top left and click the plus function. And you'll name it add player icon. Okay, so this function will get called at start in the construct event. We'll put on the end here. And when it does, we're going to create the widget for the player icon. So click on create uh, widget. And you will choose the player icon widget. And with its return value, we'll drag out there and choose promote to variable. And we want to name this one player icon uh, so we've got a reference of it and with that reference we are now going to add it to a child of our map overlay so your map overlay should be in your variables if it isn't make sure you go back to here click on your map overlay and tick is variable so with that we're going to drag out map overlay get and from map overlay you're going to do add child and you want add child to overlay so this will add a child widget which is this one so hook up that up to there and this one onto content and this will add that to this map overlay so it will appear on top of this image now by default uh, it won't be dead center so to make it dead center we need to come off return value here and do set horizontal alignment and change it to center and again from the return value set vertical and hook that up to that and choose center and i believe that is it we'll compile and we can close add play icon and we can add it now to the end of our construct code so you do add player icon and you should see it appear so so if I click compile now we should see the green player icon now it's not rotating yet but it appears that's halfway done so next step is to make it rotate so off of there and I think we can do this in the player icon widget we'll do that here and what I want to do is go to its graph go to event tick and with the tick, what we're going to do is we're going to update this icon to be the rotation of the player. So, first thing to do is get the player. So, right click, get player character. There we go. And from there, you want to get world rotation. And you want it of the mesh. Okay. So, I'll get that come up there. So, you want to get world rotation like so and what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into the widgets transform so the widgets transform is handled by its render so if i click on the player icon and scroll down you'll see render transform and it's here that you can change its angle and all sorts of things okay so what we want to do is drag on player icon get a reference to it come off of there and do set render uh, angle and we're going to plug that into there so the player the angle we want it to be is the your value from the world rotation so we can just right click on this and go split struct pin 
and we want the yaw, the z value and attach it to angle click compile and let's see if this works it's really facing the right way but if I turn the play around you can see it works perfect so that's it for this episode in the next part we're going to now look at the lengthy job of adding points of interest for enemy characters um, it's a quick point a couple of parts to go through that and explain some trigonometry to you guys um, but look forward to seeing you next time if you've liked this video or liked anything I do please like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye